Hi, in this set of videos we're going to be looking at finding X in some shapes. Um, so it doesn't really fit in with any particular type of uh, topic. We're going to be looking at angles in polygons, also we're going to be looking at circle theorem, but it might be a good bit of practice aimed at round about grade five-ish on GCSE maths. I hope it's useful to you. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. I'll always come back to you and also stop the video, have a go at each of the questions and then compare your solution. I look forward to seeing you inside the video. Hi, in this playlist we're going to be looking at this uh, finding the missing angle. So there's a series of questions. The first two are not too bad. The third one I'm going to put into a separate video because it's a little bit more challenging. So with this one, uh, the first one, we need to know circle theorems and also we need to recognise that this triangle right in the middle here is an isosceles triangle. Now the reason that is, is because zero zero is at the center so therefore this is a radius OP and OR is also a radius so we can actually say those two are the same and therefore it's an isosceles triangle. Okay, now, um, with a lot of these questions, they tend to ask you to write out the reasons for your working as well. Well, I'm happy to do that, but I'm just going to make notes here. On this one, we haven't, but the reasons um, I would say here is that OP equals OR because they're both radius. Okay, and therefore, and those little three dots uh, mean therefore O. PR is isosceles, okay? So that also means then that the two angles at the bottom are the same. They're both going to be 36 degrees, okay? So we, that will allow us then to work out the top angle, which is this one here. And the way we can do that is that angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So angle P. OR equals 180 degrees minus 36 and 36, which is 72. So therefore, the angle at the top here is going to be 108 degrees. So this is 108 degrees. OK, hopefully that's OK for you. If you're familiar with circle theorems and how that works, then you might also spot that the angle at the middle, the centre, is twice the angle at the circumference. So therefore, we can say that angle... PQR, which is what we're looking for, is going to be 54 degrees, okay, which is this angle here is 54 degrees. And the reason that is, and I'll just write this in, is that the angle at the centre is twice angle at circumference. Now I appreciate my writing isn't great on these sorts of things, made even worse by actually trying to do a video, but hopefully it'll give you some idea of those are the kind of reasons that you might need to write down. Okay, let's have a look then at the second question, which is a similar sort of question. Um, it's just knowing um, some information about regular shapes. So in this particular case, we've got a regular hexagon and a square. Now, we're being asked to work out the size of angle A. Well, hopefully you're okay with the this bit being 90 degrees. So we actually know that the angle in the corner of a square is going to be 90 degrees. The next bit that we need to do is we need to work out this angle here. OK, now we can do this in a couple of different ways, and I have seen it in a couple of different ways. Um, one way is to use a formula or you can actually write draw triangles in. Um, I tend to prefer to remember that in a regular shape, so a regular hexagon, the external angles equal 360 degrees. So in other words, all of the angles that make up the exterior, so it's actually this one here and this one here. I won't draw it on there, but hopefully you'll get the idea. 
that it's these angles of which there's going to be six of them, a little bit like a Catherine wheel, okay, are going to add up to 360 degrees. So therefore, these little three dots again, therefore the external angle is equal to 360 over 6, because there's 6 of them, so therefore that's going to equal 60 degrees. So in other words, what we're saying is, is that for every single external angle here, all of them are going to be 60 degrees, which allows me then to work out the internal angle, because it's a straight line. So this here is going to be 100 and 20 degrees and it's the same for this one and the same for all the others as well that the internal angle equals 120 degrees okay so now we're in a situation where we know this is 90 we know this is 120 we also know that the angles at a point add up to 360 degrees okay so I'm just going to write that right at the very bottom here that the angles at a point add to 360 degrees okay and then finally angle a equals then 360 minus 120 minus 90 degrees 120 there 90 degrees there so therefore a must equal 150 degrees and that would be the answer to that particular question okay hope that's been useful for you if you're not sure about anything please do add a comment below in the comments i'll always come back to you have a look at the next video which is just slightly bit more complicated in this particular playlist i hope it's useful and i look forward to seeing you inside the video